lot louder. Oh, I'll be a lot louder, you guys. Um, so, what's up, everybody? We're excited to be here for all these uh, female comedians. Really glad to be here. Let's just get down to it. Um, so, I work at a coffee shop. Um, well, I don't really. I say to make myself feel better. I work at Dunkin' Donuts. And, uh, uh, yeah. But, you, know, you know what sucks about working at Dunkin' Donuts? It's uh, watching all these crappy ass white girls wait for their like, iced lattes and shit. They literally look like begging puppies. They, I start walking towards the window and they're just glaring at me. <laughs> they're just waiting for it. They're reaching for the coffee. I'm reaching for the credit card. Something's not working out. It gets pretty rough. Um, but situations like that, um, what happened? Situations like that make me wish I could travel back in time and slap them in the face. I don't often wish I could travel back in time. Um, usually, I wish I could travel back in time when my coupons expire. Uh, sad, I know, I'm poor. <laughs> uh, recently, my mom sent me a coupon for tampons. Uh, but I didn't realize I needed tampons until the day after my coupon expired. <laughs> of course. So now I have to pay the full, ridiculous price of $5 per box for these ridiculous, necessary feminine hygiene products. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. That's great. Uh, but the well, good thing my mom did, was she sent me to college. Yeah. I uh, actually just graduated from WKU. Bowling team. Yeah! Woo! Oh, Chris, all right. Uh, but I graduated with a bachelor's in theater, so uh, I'm going to be poor for a long time. <laughs> a long time. Uh, I became a theater major after seeing four mediocre high school plays, they were so bad, and I saw Wicked on Broadway once. I thought I was going places. <laughs> it was actually got uh, really sad how much I knew about my own major. I remember walking to like my freshman like intro to theater class, really ready to take notes. All my classmates already knew like all these basic theater terms, and I was lost. Uh, fun fact: I went to my first college audition wearing chacos, Nike shorts, and a poorly done tie-dye T-shirt. Hmm. Yeah. Needless to say, I did not get the part. It's okay. Uh, recently, I found out how much I owe is loans. I'm not going to tell you how much because one, it's business, and two, I don't want to faint again on stage. Yeah, but I tried to make like a funny Snapchat story about it because I'm a millennial comedian and that's what we're supposed to do. But then some dumbass from Ballard County wanted to be a smart ass and he asked me, so you uh, put yourself into debt to be a theater major. Why did you, like, why did you do that? Why, why did I do that? Honestly, so I can answer that question every single day for the rest of my life. That's why. But uh, yeah. Um, like, yeah, I am a little ill, but I don't think I've really gotten as bad as like, most of my generation. I don't, own, I don't own a TV, so I watch everything online. You know? uh, so that means I don't really watch the news. I don't really know what's going on. I guess I, I could use the news app on my phone, but I'm too lazy for that. But I, I am trying to get healthy, and like my phone like tracks my steps. So like I usually walk like 10,000 steps a day at work. So I think I'm good. I'm ex I exercise. I'm healthy. I'm doing it. So they don't go home and eat a whole pizza and a lot of ice cream. It balances it out. It's fine. It's really good. Um, but you know, not only am I a millennial, I'm also a feminist. There it is. Yeah, women. All right. Um, you know how like all these modern day feminists are like. I don't want to shave, I don't care. Like whether it be like armpits or whatever, I don't really care. You can be hairy, you can not be hairy, I don't give a shit. But, uh, so the other day I had a day off of work and I was really bored. And so the leisurely activity I chose for myself was to shave my pubic hair. So I was like, you know, why not? And so I got done and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh wow, a shave vagina actually kind of looks like uh, Nick and Mulrat. <laughs> <laughs> so I instantly regretted my choice, but here we are. Uh, thank you so much, Jamal, for setting this up for us. You're the king. Thanks so much, Allie Thomas. <laughs> Woo!
Oh, the king. Oh, the king is the most. All right.